Howdy folks, welcome back. So now we can craft stuff, let's increase our character's crafting level. So I'm going to open up my player's blueprint. I'm going to wait for it, jeez. Don't usually take that long, but okay. Alright, so inside the blueprint, I am... Oh, I'm going to clean up a lot of these, so... Don't need these right now. Alright. I'm going to create a function called mm, gain craft XP. This will take an input of a float. So this will be XP gained, and then it will be a float. And I'm going to add a couple variables to our character. First is crafting level. Now if you want this to be based on um, like the player level, you can just increase her experience and her actual level, base level. Uh, I'm going to do it this way so that she can have a crafting. Yeah, you know. Alright, so this is crafting XP, it'll be a float. The crafting level is an integer. Crafting XP is a float. Duplicate that craft level up. Alright, so I'm going to default the crafting level to 1 and the craft level up. Let's see, you gotta get 20 crafting experience points to level up. Alright, so in our gain craft experience, function. We want to take our craft XP, this is how much crafting experience they do have, and we want to add this XP gained to it. Then we'll set the crafting XP to the new amount. Now we want to check the result and see if it's greater than or equal to what's required for the next level. Now if it is, then we want to subtract whatever this is, uh, subtract this from whatever this is. This will be the bigger number, or even to it, so it will either be zero or this will have a leftover. So I'm going to take my crafting experience, set it right here, and I'm going to subtract the level up from it. Now I'll set my crafting experience to the new amount. I'll grab out my crafting level and increment it. And then I want to increase how much it's going to take to level up. So I'm going to grab my craft level and then I want to set crafting level up. And I'm going to take the get and I'm going to multiply it by uh, let's see, it was 20 to start, so one, uh, 1.25, so it'll increase by 25% <coughs> every time it levels up. I am going to round this, just to make sure that it's an even number and we don't get a bunch of decimals all over the place. So I'm going to set that right on top of there. just like that. Alright, so now we need one more function and this is going to be called learn recipes. Suppose we could do it just inside the gain craft experience, but I'm gonna just call it so we'll call that learn recipes function right here. Now inside the learn recipes, we are going to need a couple of things. So I'm going to create a local variable called, no better not local, probably better if it's uh, out here so we can get it easier from the HUD. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate my crafting list and call this learned items or learned crafts or learned recipes whatever you want to call it 
Now I'm going to grab this and I want to set it. Now this is what's going to display on the HUD when the little bar pops out and tells us what we've learned. This is what's going to be filled. So the first thing we need to do is when we're learning recipes, first thing is to clear it. So we're going to make array. Now you can right click this pin right here and remove the array element pin and this will just default the array back to empty. So after we do that, then we want to get data table row names. The data table row is going to be our item info and then from the out row we want to do a for each loop. So for each item in our item info data table we want to check to see if it's a learnable recipe and if our crafting level matches. So I'm going to let's see get data table row and we can hook this right here item info array element here then we want to break our out row structure so we can check to see first off is it craftable and second off is our level compatible so I'm going to add a branch oh and we need to see if our uh, crafting list already contains it which it looks like uh oh let's compile and save real quick because I need to add something to the item info struct so inside the item info structure I'm going to add one new variable that will be called Id oh, item ID and this will just be item an item name variable I will have to go update the data table but for right now we can just move on and then we'll do that in a bit so all right so I'm gonna grab my crafting list and see if that contains this item ID now if it does not contain it well first we need to see if it's even craftable if it's craftable then we want to see does our crafting list already contain it if not then we want to add, oh no we need to check the level <laughs> see if our crafting level is greater than or equal to the level required I'm gonna move this up like that now so we want to see is it craftable yes okay does our list contain it no if no then we want to add it if our level is compatible so I'm going to from the item ID then we will add unique crafting level is great okay yeah so true so the pattern is true false true so then we will add this to our crafting list and then we want to add it to our learned items so I'm gonna get that and add unique and same 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 and we'll just hook that up just like that oh no don't do this to me <sighs> alright sorry about that uh, it might look just a little bit different but I have project crashed so I, I built it back up to where we were and now we can move on so so we've added it to our crafting list and we've added it to our learned items list that we clear at the very front that way every time it calls this function it'll get the updated list so back out here let's save real quick hmm you know what just to check it let's see so if we add unique let's just print string 
We'll just print a string right at the very end to see if it's working. Now, if we step into the data table real quick, at the very bottom health potion, I'm going to set it worth 10 experience a piece, and I'm going to alter the recipe down to one green herb. So that I should be able to just jump in, pick up a few, craft them, and then you'll see in the top left, so let's go ahead and full screen. Oh. Yeah, we're calling it. True, setting, yes, go in. Alright, learning recipes. Learn recipes, get data to a row, doing that, alright. So let's let's use a few more print strings and find out where it's not happening at. Level up. string here just to say learning okay let's hmm I don't think I said any other ones too oh be learnable So let's set that this one's craftable real quick. Alright, so let's check it out real quick. I'm stupid. Okay, so I know where it's at. Over in the crafting, craft item. At the very end, when we pick up item, we need to actually call the gain craft experience function. So it's one thing for us to be doing all this. That should fix it. Let's take a look real quick. We got three of those. Learning level up. All right, so let's check that one more time. So now in the learn recipes, see it says learning. My crafting level is greater than or equal to Gain craft XP is boosting my level. Let's see. Level required. We'll say two on that one. And then item. Oh, it's because I didn't update this too. Alright, so rusted sword. We'll go through in the next video and update the entire data table, but let's take a look. Boop, boop. Rusty sword. Alright, so when I close and come back. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it was just. Uh, uh, operator malfunction on my end but there's how we can increase all that by leveling up and in the next one we'll go over the data table and update it so that it can register all the items appropriately and then after that we'll do the HUD elements and then I will see y'all in the next one bye